Let's begin our prayer today with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this week's Gospel, Jesus shares another parable with us, a story to teach us about what God is like. And in this parable, we hear of the landowner who hires the workers for his vineyard. And when he comes to pay them, he shares generously with those who work for the shortest amount of time, as well as those who work for the longer period. And this is from Matthew's Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner going out at daybreak to hire workers for his vineyard. He made an agreement with the workers for one denarius a day and sent them to his vineyard. Going out at about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You go to my vineyard too, and I will give you a fair wage. So they went. At about the sixth hour, and again at about the ninth hour, he went out and did the same. Then at about the eleventh hour, he went out and found more men standing around. And he said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You go into my vineyard too. In the evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his bailiff, Call the workers and pay them their wages, starting with the last arrivals and ending with the first. So those who were hired at about the eleventh hour came forward and received one denarius each. When the first came, they expected to get more, but they too received one denarius each. They took it, but grumbled at the landowner. The men who came last, they said, have done only one hour, and you have treated them the same as us, though we have done a heavy day's work in all the heat. He answered one of them and said, My friend, I am not being unjust to you. Did we not agree on one denarius? Take your earnings and go. I choose to pay the last comer as much as I pay you. Have I no right to do what I like with my own? Why be envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. So again, just think about that story. Was there a particular part of that reading that stood out to you? Why did it stand out to you? The landowner was generous because though those who came later worked for a shorter period, he was generous in his payment to them. He gave them the same as if they'd been there all day. When have you experienced generosity in your life? How did you react? Were you grateful? Are there times that you wish you were more grateful? What do you need to be more grateful for? Let us pray today that we may have hearts of generosity. May we imitate the generosity of God, who gives freely and without conditions, because of the love he has for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so let us finish with our school prayer. God be in our heads and in our understanding. God be in our eyes and in our looking. God be in our mouths and in our speaking. God be in our hearts and in our caring. God be with our friends and family. Be with us now and always. Amen. St. Oscar Romero, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.